नमस्कार वेलकम टू गवर्नमेंट ई मार्केट प्लेस इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल डिस्कस प्राइमरी यूजर रजिस्ट्रेशन इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल सी प्राइमरी यूजर इज द प्राइम अथॉरिटी दैट मॉनिटर्स द एंड टू एंड प्रिक्योरमेंट प्रोसेस फॉलोड बाय द क्रिएशन ऑफ सेकेंडरी यूजर्स ईच ऑफिस जोन विल हैव ओनली वन प्राइमरी यूजर द प्राइमरी यूजर्स आर ऑथराइज एट द लेवल ऑफ डेप्यूटी सेक्रेटरी इक्वेवेलेंट ऑफिसर्स लेवल और हेड ऑफ द ऑफिसर्स एट सब सेंटर यूनिट branch of government organization public sector units psus autonomous bodies constitutional bodies statutory bodies role of the primary user self registration bias organizations account setup creation of secondary users deactivation or transfer of secondary users accounts monitoring of orders placed administration of gem procurement open gem.gov.in and click on sign up click here on sign up select buyer organization option from the menu then this page will appear select primary user hod check all the mandatory check boxes in the prerequisite section click here to proceed select the check box to accept the general terms and conditions of government e marketplace and click on proceed Click on organization details. Fill in the details of your organization and click on next to proceed. Enter Aadhaar number and the linked mobile number. Select the check box and click verify Aadhaar to proceed. Enter OTP for verification and click on verify. Upon successful verification of the Aadhaar, the user will get a success message. Click next to proceed. Only NIC registered email ID or white listed domain email IDs will be accepted for the registration process. Fill in your official email address and click on send OTP to verify the email address. Enter the OTP received on email and click on verify OTP. Click next to proceed. Registration user credentials It is advised that create your user ID according to your designation or department because once created user ID cannot be edited enter the user ID and password click on create account HOD user ID created successfully account creation of primary user is not complete till the user completes their profile click here to start updating your profile select organization address to update the organization details update your organization address here and click save select payment method to update your payment details check the desired payment method and click on save to proceed select personal information to update your personal details this information will be prefetched from the database is verified at the time of registration update the remaining details asterisk marked as mandatory and click here to proceed select referral verification to update verifying authority details fill in the details of the verifying authority and click next mail is sent to va for account approval rejection once the email is sent to the va edit button is available edit option can be used only once to make any changes in va details if required user will be able to edit and save the va details only if the va has not taken action on the request click next after making the changes after va details are edited and an updated email is sent to the va the edit button will not be available verifying authority will receive an email with the approval rejection link the link will be valid for the next 15 days after that the va will not be able to take any action the hod can resend the email to the va after every 3 days from the initial request this is in case where the va hasn't taken any action Click here to send the email again. Primary user will receive an email once the VA approves the request. Primary user gets this email if the VA rejects the request. Primary user gets the message after VA rejects the request. Once the requested is rejected by the VA or they don't take any action in 15 days, HOD will get the option to close the account permanently. Click here to close the account. Once the account is closed permanently new request may be raised by the HOD the following message will be displayed if the HOD tries to log in with the same credentials post rejection by the VA user ID is disabled here are the key takeaways of this module 
Aadhaar card with linked mobile number, email ID hosted by NIC, and verifying authority details such as name, mobile number, and NIC registered email ID is a must for primary user registration. A primary user cannot change his, her user ID once it is created. It is advisable that the user ID is carefully created as per the designation or department. HOD now can edit the request once sent to the verifying authority. It can only be edited once. Resend email button will be available to the HOD after every three days if there is no action taken by the VA in 15 days from the initial request. The VA will have 15 days to take the action. If there is no action taken or the request is rejected, the HOD will be forced to close the account and they have to create a new HOD account to register on GEM. Creation, modification, and the activation of secondary users are performed by primary users. Secondary users creation is mandated as primary users cannot place orders on government e-marketplace. Here are the frequently asked questions. What are the prerequisites for primary user registration? The prerequisites for primary user registration are 1. Aadhaar number of the user. 2. Mobile number which is linked with Aadhaar. 3. Email IDs hosted by NIC. Only NIC registered email IDs and whitelisted hosted domains are allowed. This would facilitate users from all 1600 plus domains to freely register and transact on government e-marketplace. 4. Verifying authority details such as name, mobile number and NIC registered email ID. Note, in case the user does not have an email ID which is hosted by NICS, he would be directed to open government e-marketplace by ID email. Is Aadhaar mandatory for primary user registration? Yes, Aadhaar is mandatory for primary user registration. Note, Aadhaar details collected by government e-marketplace are solely for user verification. Can a primary user change his, her user ID? No, a primary user cannot change his, her user ID once it is created. It is advisable that the user ID is carefully created as per the designation or department. Thank you.